Right, hi there guys. So the barn owl box is just up above me here and uh, the chicks are in there, six weeks old. So just so everyone knows, I've got a Schedule 1 license. In fact, I've got two. Uh, I've got one to photograph and film and I've also got one to disturb. Uh, so that involves nest checking. I've got Jean uh, loitering in the background. So she's a Schedule 1 ringer with a BTO. So uh, she's going to ring the barn owls today with me. So I'm going to make a start. I'm going to uh, head up the ladder now and uh, get these young barn owls out. So I definitely need longer arms for this job. Um, Right, <laughs> so this is Jean everyone and we're going to uh, show you the process of ringing the barn owls. So I've got them both tucked away in a separate compartment each. One then misses. Yeah, that's what I thought. This one's hands. So uh, we're going to give this one uh, some rings or if you're in America we call them bands out there. Um, but this is quite a simple process. So these are BTO rings and uh, British Trust for Ornithology and uh, Jean sends the records off with these rings and uh, this uh, bird is then tracked throughout its life if it's found anywhere. Uh, we know where this owl has come from, how far it's travelled. So Jean's just going to pop a ring on here. Highly skilled. <laughs> So it's important this ring is put on properly because uh, it doesn't want to slip over the joint on the leg. That can cause real problems and also that that, that uh, joint is really tightly closed so it doesn't catch on anything. So we'll do a wink. Two, three, two. So that's two, three, two millimetres, and this chick's six weeks old now, so uh, doing really well. And weight wise, I think it'll be pretty good. It's not the fattest barn owl I've ever felt, but it's uh, <laughs> certainly not the thinnest either. So yeah. this bird's 395 grams. That's pretty good. Yep. Yeah. So this is Hans, 395 grams. So we're just going to let you have a little look at him, her, I think. Yeah, that's the debate, Jean. Yeah, yeah, I think. What, what do you think? Yeah. We've got this uh, dark fringing around yeah, the facial disc, yeah. but we're, we're really another... Yeah, we're a bit off yet. Once all the fluff goes, the females have little sparkles on the chest. We've often. got We've got sparkles. Yeah, yeah, I think it's female, yeah. Yeah, so we're, we're looking at a female, but yes, yeah, so these little tiny black dots here are actually uh, on her feathers, and that indicates she's most likely a female. And the other thing that we're looking for... It's a real sweet art face, isn't she? Yeah, and this, this dark fringing around the facial disc. Males sometimes have a bit of this, dark fringing, but it's always more prominent with the females, so we're... You know, just by the dark fringing alone and the overall colour, it's a girl. <laughs> right. Well, that's been a really special experience, that one. A little bit more feisty, this one. 
So again, we've got uh, just a couple of days apart. Very, very similar in uh, looks. So uh, we're going for another girl here. So I'm going to just pass this one to Jean to do the ringing. Mate. <laughs> <laughs> so she's 212, so a bit smaller than the other one. Yes, that's 212 millimetres. Just to see the difference. Just show you quickly the difference. We want to keep their sort of experience of ringing to a minimum, but. Uh, you can see them there, they're absolutely stunning. And I can't even explain what it's like to touch this down. It is probably the softest thing in the world and you can see it blowing in the wind. Um, they're absolute little beauties. And this is why we do all this work with the barn owls, putting nest boxes up, uh, supplementary feeding them when uh, times are harder. Uh, like now, this year's a really poor volier uh, in this area. And uh, like lemmings, the numbers peak and trough so uh, it's really special to see these this year. These are the only chicks that we've rung this year. Yeah, I haven't rung a bar young barn owl this year at all. Yeah, so that's how bad a breeding season it's been. These are the first two chicks that we've actually really rung. And uh, yeah, and as you can see, this process doesn't... Well, this, this hands and this is... Greek to yeah. I don't know how to ex uh, <laughs> pronounce it, but <laughs> I'll do my best. Yeah. <laughs> hands is easy. <laughs> so you can see the ringing process doesn't completely stress these owls out no. and uh, and the rings are you know won't, won't go over the hock or over the yeah. ankle, so right so these are going to um home again go back into the box <laughs> 